Hello. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to add the motor reinforcement tool to the RoboDuels Hammerhead uh, Battle Sumo and Explore robot. Now, why we are adding this is to increase the mechanical stability of the motors and just give them extra longevity. So the first thing we want to do is remove the top two screws uh, on the motor. So this screw and this screw. Some of your motors may not have these, uh, uh, may have less screws than others. Uh, but in our case, we'll just need to remove uh, this one right here. And we'll want to do that on both sides. So we could just slide and fit this in and replace those, those screws. Uh, in the kit that you get, uh, you get also two M3 screws, just in case if you're missing any screws and you need extra, as well as um, four 440 screws and a screwdriver. Uh, to hold everything in place. Uh, so I'm going to start by unscrewing one of these uh, whole, uh, uh, these screws. Now all you need to do is just get a screwdriver and stick it in uh, in between the, the wheels and you can spin the wheel to get the right angle and just screw it out and on the other side so right here as you can see you need at least a minimum of three screws to keep uh, all of them in place, uh, to keep the motors in place. Uh, two will be just fine for what we need. So once you have the screws out and you have this area freed on both sides, uh, you just want to slide in uh, from the um, where this is the top, so where the uh, L298 motor driver comes out, that's where you want to slide it in. Um, and just slide it in like so. And make sure you get a flush uh, fit. Uh, so you might need to play around with it a little bit just to get it right. You can use the screwdriver to kind of like pry it open a little bit. And uh, sometimes the paint job causes a little bit of instability, but you should get it in and locked and loaded and flush fit, as you can see here. So. What you like to do is make sure that it's fit flush so that the holes are aligned uh, with uh, the reinforcement. And then all you need to do is just use the screws uh, to uh, reinforce the motors at these two screw locations on either side, like so. So just use your screwdriver and screw them in. And your motors will be extremely stable and there we go. Just tighten it. Don't tighten it too hard. Uh, make sure that you're screwing it in properly. Um, and you want it to get a firm grip. Once, once you feel, start to feel some resistance from the, the screwdriver, you want to go uh, up to the point where, you know, um, the resistance is maybe at 80% of maximum. So here I'm starting to feel some resistance. It's getting harder. I'm just going to lock it in place. And of course, you can use some Gorilla Glue to reinforce it even further. Uh, so what I would recommend is like putting some glue on the screws and then just screwing them in. Uh, that will make the connections even stronger. Uh, you want to do it on the other side as well. So like so, there we go. And these are M3 screws, by the way, if you're curious. Uh, screw them in again on this side. And now we have a full motor reinforcement. This should be enough to keep uh, your motor uh, secure and in place. But just to add extra stability, we've added these screws, which are optional. Uh, but I recommend that you put them in. So I'm just going to put them in here with my screwdriver. Um, if you have a, uh, to speed up this process, if you have a, um, a drill with a screwdriver bit um, like this, uh, you can use that to insert the screws and also remove the screws once you're done. So kind of like a NASCAR car or like a racing car that is at a pit stop. That's kind of what our bots are like. There we go. 
So now we have a fully reinforced uh, RoboDuels hammerhead robot. And these motors are gonna be straight and stable. And uh, there is no getting into the wires that are in here. So you can punch this robot, throw it off the window, throw it out, you know, a two-story building, it's gonna work. Uh, maybe these will break if you throw it out of a two-story building, but the motors and the wiring will remain intact. The wheels are easily replaceable, so that's not a concern. And yeah, there we go. Your bot is ready to duel, ready to fight, and you can just turn it on and start rolling and controlling it from the internet or controlling it locally on any device you want. Uh, and that's been the RoboDuels reinforcement video. Hope you guys um, have learned something from this. And uh, if you want to get one of these bots, just go to store.robodules.com and select the Hammerhead Robot under the category Robots, and we'll send one of these to you. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, have a great day.